Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Yo Adrian and today we're going to be back in American Truck Simulator. That is right, I've actually done more American Truck Simulator in these past couple, like, or in this month than I have actually in, like, my entire YouTube career. So that's actually kind of something, um, like I said, going in with the variety and stuff. This is part of it. Do more uh, trucking, do more train sim, more L uh, a little bit more LSPD4, but, you know, you know. But yeah, guys. As you can see here, we're pulling for Dollar General today. Now, we're in the Volvo 730, VNL 730. Um, now, Dollar General does not actually have their own trucks. They have their own trailers, which they run through leasing companies like Schneider, Warner, CR England is the one that we've kind of been getting the most now is CR England. We've had Schneider in the past. We've had Warner in the past. I haven't seen any Swift, but I know they do Swift as well. Now... They don't actually have their own trucks, but I'm going to go more into detail about that here later on in the episode. Here's a look at our custom Dollar General trailer. Um, this game has still been lagging. I don't understand why. I've also noticed with my game... Actually, I'll go ahead and talk about this later on. Let's go ahead and just check out the trailer. A little bit different than what Dollar General's actual trailers are. Um, they usually have like little windows up top, like spread out throughout the trailer. Up top. And then back here, they actually have a lift gate. That goes on underneath the uh, truck, basically, because the truck driver is the one that actually unloads everything. But yeah, it's basically like the same Dollar General trailers I always see coming into the store when they unload, stuff like that. So we'll go ahead more into detail about that once we get in the episode. Now let's go ahead and start this puppy up. I threw a, I believe it's a 510 in here. I didn't throw too much in here just because it's like a Dollar General truck, so I kind of went with like what kind of specs they would have. But here's a look at the interior of this puppy. Got a CB radio. Check that out. It looks actually kind of cool. I like it. Little blue Volvo interior. It looks really, really nice, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of jobs we can get real quick. We are running Cargo Market. So let's see what we got out of Winnichi to anything else in Washington. Uh, really not much. We can go back to Olympia, which I don't want to do. Go all the way out to Aberdeen. Go all the way to Bellingham, Tacoma. We've been through Colville. We haven't been out to Colville. Let's go ahead and go to Colville. Taking curtains. Not the worst thing in the world. Alright, I'm going to have to definitely fix that mirror really quick. Uh, there we go. That is a lot better. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Set our... Uh, uh, set the... Uh, whatchamacallit? What the fuck? Shifter to A3. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Let's go turn the lights on. Just because it is nighttime. We're going to be making a nighttime run, unfortunately. But yeah, I'll go ahead and go more into detail about Dollar General trucking once we actually get out on the road and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to go pick up our uh, trailer, or uh, not our trailer. We're going to go pick up our load right now. And uh, I will catch, I'll get back to you guys once we actually go pick it up and we're ready to go. Alright, cargo has been loaded. We are all ready to go. Let's go ahead and do a little tug test here. Make sure everything on the truck is working. Go ahead and release that parking brake. All good. Alright, let's go ahead and hop on out of here. Like I said, we're taking curtains out to Colville. We are doing, um, let's see, what was that? I don't remember exactly like what key bindings these are. So we're doing 38,772 pounds of curtains. To the Colville in Cell Goods, which is about a 180 mile trip from where we are currently at right now. A little bit of a long trip, but not the worst thing in the world. Definitely not the worst thing in the world. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Alright, but the only reason why I decided to choose the Dollar General truck today is because I've been talking about the company in my last couple like American Truck Simulator episodes. And then I'm like, wait a second, then I'm, I take my computer over to my uh, mom's house to go like update all my games and stuff. And then I notice that there's a truck and trailer combo. And I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, let's go ahead and download that just because that's kind of ironic that we have that and I've been talking about it the last couple of days. Like I had a Dollar General trailer in, but it always had that like black box underneath the... Um, underneath the underbody so I'm like yeah let's not use that and then this thing came out and I'm like that works but yeah 
as I was saying, Dollar General does not actually own their own trucks, just the uh, trailers. And, um, but there was a thing that my boss went to a meeting saying that they were going to hire or, uh, purchase their own trucks and basically hire their own drivers. Cause the driver does more, like I said, they're leasing from like Warner or Schneider or like I have a contract with them, like Swift and basically, and the driver does all the unloading. So you could have four stores in one, tra in one trailer and the driver is going to unload basically everything. It's like almost depends on how, how much it is. It's like a three, two to three hour process basically, depending on how big it is for the store and how much it is and whatnot. So a lot of drivers don't like that. Because they have to literally unload. Usually usually if you're a truck driver, you just drive the truck. But no, you have to unload, load up all the empties, and then go to the next door. Do the same. Unload all the empties to get to the new load. Unload and then unload all that. Load up the empties back up. Load the new store's empties back up. And then, um, yeah. And then go back to the next door. Go back to the DC, whichever. Whichever. And I, I understand the truck drivers, they do work hard for that or at least a Dollar General just because you could be out there in the snow you could be out there in like 115 degree weather you can even be out there in the rain the snow the ice yeah it's a fun time not really but it's a fun time so i kind of feel bad for most of the truck drivers out there because they got to do this like every single day pretty much and i already know that i'd probably be, I, I would hate it i already know that i would hate it um if i had a cdl and work for one of those companies so even though you see like Warner Schneider with their own trailers and stuff, they also work, f not work for, but they also get paid through Warner and Dollar General. I was talking to one of the drivers and he said that Dollar General actually gives the company money to pay the driver. So I think it's like, um, they do get paid per mile, but I think it's like 80 per stop and 100 per store or something like that. I think that's what he said. So it's, I think he said it was like $100 per store. So if you have four stores, that's 400 If you have one trailer with one store, that's 100 I believe that's what he was telling me if I like uh, recall it correctly. I don't remember though. But here we are in Arnado or Omac. Arnado or something like that. Nice, t nice little town. I like that. Nice little town. Got a BP and that's about it. <laughs> Pretty much like um, the town I used to live in, the Thomas Barrow, was all, all it was was just a Casey's and a post office, and that's it. <laughs> if you guys don't know what Casey's is, it's like a pretty much one of the best gas stations out there. Um, we got some police activity up ahead, but yeah, it's basically one of like the best gas stations out there with great pizza, gas, they got chicken sandwiches, they got pretty much anything in that little deli thing. They have iced coffee, regular coffee, and look at that, Washington State Police Explorer. No cop pets though, unfortunately, but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, it's like a recent rumor that Dollar General was actually going to start, uh, purchasing their own trucks to haul their trailers and their own, like, train drivers. Because right now, let's say, because we have these, like, little V, if you, I don't know if you guys have been to Dollar General, they have, like, those little gray vehicles, they're called the Rotainers. So, like, let's say I'm working for, like, CR England, and I'm unloading, and I ended up moving that out to the floor, and I hit someone or injure someone while doing it the CR England company would be responsible for it, not Dollar General. But if it was a Dollar General truck, Dollar General would be responsible for it. So that's just kind of, it's just kind of one of those like weird things and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was just been talking about Dollar General and um, next thing you know, I see this thing pop up in the workshop. So I'm like, that's kind of ironic. I wish I knew about it whenever I was doing those stories because then I would have done Dollar General. But yeah, I pretty much did kind of like a what if type deal with this um i don't think though i don't I mean to be honest i don't really know if they'll be getting volvos or not um i've noticed that recently the last like three or four trucks we've had have all been cr england and um uh which call it they've all been cr england and they've all been the new mostly we always get like the international trucks like the new one that just came out i believe it was frank peru that came out with it but for some reason anytime i try to purchase it or use it it crashes my game and I have the Steam Workshop version, so it should have updated. But that's been the main truck that we have gotten the past couple weeks. Usually what we get is those or like the Freightliner um, trucks. I've had a Freightliner Cascadia, not Cascadia, yeah, Cascadia, and we've had like a Freightliner Inspiration. And then we just had those International, and I think we've had a Kenworth one or two times. And mainly it's all Freightliners and International, those Internationals basically. 
So I kind of did it like a what if if what if what if Dollar General ended up deciding to get Volvos. Now I don't think this is the actual like Volvo truck they would get. I think they would probably get like 780s. And I'm not 100% certain if they would actually have sleepers in them. I'm assuming they I'm hoping that they would. You just never know. I'm going to assume they would. But, um, yeah, this is just kind of like a what if type deal. What if Dollar General got Volvo 730s? I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, I feel like it'd be kind of in their budget to get these instead of like a 780. Or even like more expensive like uh, Kenworth or Peterbilt or something like that. Oh god, there's a cop behind me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, there's a cop behind me. But yeah, that's kind of just like my rendition of if Dollar General, whenever they did purchase their own trucks. And that fucking cop is tailgating me. I think he's looking for a reason to pull me over. But yeah, um, as I was also saying, recently, when I, anytime I try to go to the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, like the dealerships and stuff like with the trailer one like i tried putting the roll-up door with the lift gate on this truck and it kept crashing my game i tried buying something the international truck it kept crashing my game and i've even tried with like the default peterbilt 567 putting something in it and it crashed my game so i'm noticing that a lot of um default like scs stuff has been crashing my game recently and i'm not 100 percent certain why to be honest um, it's just kind of one of those like weird things and I really yeah like I said I don't know why and ATS is completely updated looks like we discovered OMAC but yeah ATS is like completely updated the workshop items are completely updated so I don't really know what the actual deal is I'm just kind of like trying to go through mods and figure it out maybe it's like old stuff I have in but it's not crashing while I'm in game it's just whenever I'm trying to purchase like default trailers or default trucks anything like besides that international anything that's like dlc or, or uh, mod wise nothing it works so i don't really know unless there's like corrupt files in my game which i could see um but yeah i don't know i really don't but i'm going back to like the whole dollar general thing um supposedly well not really supposedly but um one of the former co-workers I used to work with that had to uh, quit because of health reasons came in the store. And she basically told me the same thing that she hopes that I run the store and that she'll come back if her health allows her to, if I take over the store. I'm like, so it's like, that's already seven, almost seven people that has that have told me that in a span of not even a week. So I'm just at the point where I might honestly just take over because if it, if I do I already know that I have a great crew and then supposedly <laughs> the day I'm recording this which is August 30th I know it's been it's gonna be uploaded a little bit late but this is August 30th we actually had I'm, I'm off today but we actually had a person crash into the front of our building completely destroyed our red box and our picnic table that is up front there completely destroyed the red box it was like a little blue uh lincoln i believe it, it was not it's not funny but then again what's going on over here looks like a felony stop on a semi truck I thought they might have found some drugs or something in a walbert trailer that's weird that's different interesting 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 i don't know why they put a truck on a side street like this but now do what you gotta do i guess looks like i got a little drug bust on that truck back there that's that's, that's awesome but yeah, a car ended up going into the... The red box was completely on the ground. The picnic table had just... I mean, it could be fixed. It's just one of these seats. The benches basically just ripped off. So, I mean, it could be fixed. And then, I don't know what happened. Supposedly, when he was backing out or something, he ended up hitting a the cop car that responded um, to the crash scene. So, it's like there's two accidents in one. Supposedly, he claims that his brakes weren't working but I feel like there's something else to that story besides that. But it was just a little bit of excitement, and of course, like, everything happens on my day off. Like, the last time something happened was the power was out for about two hours, and of course I had left that day because it was my time to go home, and of course after I leave, the power goes out for almost two hours, which caused them to go home at 6 instead of 10, and, uh, yeah... 
But we are going back to 9 o'clock there, which I'm really happy for. We were open till 10. Now we're actually open till 9, so we'll actually get out of there probably before, like, even 9.30. So I'm very excited about that. And, um, yeah, the other time, it was 4th of July. I was at a 4th of July party with my girlfriend and uh, my boss man, who's my best friend, basically, or was. If you guys heard the stories in the last episode, was. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I was at a 4th of July party and the damn power goes out again. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And then when I was working at Target, it was one of the days I was off. Like, all the registers decided to stop working. Like, the system was down or something, I don't know. But, like, literally everything stopped working. So nobody could check out, nobody could buy anything. Cash wasn't working, credit wasn't working, checks weren't working, nothing was working. And I'm like, why the hell does this shit happen on my day off? Like, I was pissed. Like, I was legitimately pissed. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was one more thing that I was going to say, but I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. I remember I had it in the beginning, but I can't really remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Make sure you hit that like button if you, if you do. Make sure you drop a comment down below as well with the timestamp that went live on the screen earlier. So make sure you guys do that, as well as hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Like I said, all those three things truly do mean a lot to me. It might seem like you just click a button, but to me it's more than just clicking a button. It shows your support. Even if you end up hitting dislike, it still shows your support. So, oh god. I did not realize we are going to have these curves. Holy shit. There we go. There's the sign for them. Could have showed me earlier, bud, but you know, whatever. But yeah. Like I said, I don't, so if you guys know what's going on with the game, why like my default SCS stuff is causing it to crash, please let me know in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it if I could end up finding a fix for it. Just because it is kind of annoying having your default, like your default stuff, crash when you're trying to pick parts for it at the uh, shops and stuff. So, I mean, that's it's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. So, greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Make sure you guys also tell your family... Tell your friends about me. Spread rumors. On, spread things online. I don't care. Share my videos on Twitter. Share them on Instagram. Share them on Facebook. Share them in other Discord servers y'all are in. Get my name out there. Let's go ahead and try to hit 3,000 by the end of uh, by the end of October. Let's try. I, I know we can. Let's try to do it. We got more curves coming up here. I don't understand why these are not 45. Well, I guess I guess they were fine. We didn't really tip, but. But yeah, that's just seven freaking people that want me to take his job. And honestly, I think I would. Trucks use low gear. Mine's a low gear. We'll use nine. Nine is a definite low gear. We'll go 40 miles an hour just because I don't trust myself driving through these curvy, 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 curvy roads. 395 Junction coming up. Oh, we're coming up to a stop sign. There better be enough distance for me and to get to that stop sign. There it is. I'm making a right-hand turn. It's like we got a little mini mall here. I like that all black look. That's nice. Had a fire truck at the, uh, the fire station. Duh. But yeah, well, I gotta say, Washington is actually a very, very great DLC. I'm enjoying... It, and I know I said that for pretty much like every DLC, but I am enjoying Washington with all its new props and new stuff. And looks like Columbia River and Lake Roseville. So it's two and one basically. That's pretty cool. How it's like two and one. I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know how it could be a river and a lake at the same time. And there's some railroad tracks over there. Doesn't look like anyone's behind us. Nope. We are good. It's around 395 at Colville. But yeah, it's different. It's, it's very different. Kind of loving the like little forestry we got going here. I have to end up getting that forest machinery DLC, and I got to try that out too. I forgot to pick it up. Um... When I was at my mom's last, so I'm going to try to do it next, and then we'll have some more ATS videos on that. And, yeah. So we'll see about that. We'll see what happens there. 
Coming to a 35, and look, we are in Colville. All right. So we're pretty much nine or eight out of 16 cities in Washington. So we're pretty much almost there. Railroad Street's coming up. Like we're gonna have to go through a fucking roundabout. Are you kidding me? I hate these damn things. Looks like we're going up on Railroad Street, which is actually ironic because that's the street that my store is on. Is Railroad Street or Railroad Ave? That's pretty much. That's kind of ironic that it's the same exact uh, street that we're dropping off a Dollar General trailer to. Well, not really. Drop. We're drop. We're not really dropping off. We're they doing what they do and taking it with us. But oh, I, I think you guys know what I mean. Uh, the game is stuttering hardcore. Got an Old Spice uh, thing up there. We are speeding. We're only going five over. What the fuck? Like legit, we were only going five over. Like, come on. Let me have some fun in this truck. Dollar General is not going to like that, that's for sure. I think we're going here, if I'm not mistaken. Now a little bit further up. I think we're going here to sell goods. I think we actually go in through here. There's another fucking roundabout. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So if we get out of here, we have to go through a roundabout, really? There we go. I was like, are you going to open or do we have to like sit here and wait? I hope, I hope this is the place. It's going to be a very fun job turning in here. I hope this is the actual place. And we're that first fucking trailer. Are you kidding me? Really? 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 Alright, so we ended up making it in here. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually back this puppy in. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Especially with the fucking spot they gave us. Oh, didn't want that. So yeah, especially with the spot they gave us to back this thing into. I can't even see it on in my mirrors. That's the only bad part right now. Is I can't even see it. So I see like the forklift and stuff, but I can't actually see the uh, drop-off point. Okay, I kind of start seeing it now. Let's see if we're actually going to hit it. Nope, we're almost going to hit that truck though. So we got to go forward just a tiny bit. Start backing her up again. Yeah, I still cannot see it in my mirror whatsoever. So this is going to be a fun backing up job. I kind of see, see my trailer back there, but I don't actually see where I'm supposed to be backing into. Okay, so it's literally just straight back at this point in time. Something's... Oh, we hit the truck. I was like, what the hell are people honking at me for? Alright, I'm pretty sure I got this now. That thing will not fucking shut up. Yeah, we pretty much got this now. Oh, it finally shut up at least. That's good. <laughs> finally got this. A little bit of a tough backing up job for me. But we got this. We got this. There we go. Neutral. Park and brake. E. Turning off the engine. Enter. So we got excellent, went 180 miles for $9,509 and 381 XP, which, I mean, ain't the worst thing in the world. Still, it could be better, but not the worst thing in the world. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, join the Discord server. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you later. Peace.